the night to night's number is 50 50% because more than half of the people executed in the United States have a severe mental illness. And this shouldn't be surprising to you. Mind you, I'll put this out there, caveat, we are the only developed country in the world that still has a death penalty. Mic drop on that one, right? But a majority of the 100 executions um, that were studied by this, there was a study done about by this, and what they found was that of all of those, there was severe mental illness such as schizophrenia, post-traumatic stress disorder, psychosis, bipolarity. Um, yet because of an, the oddity in the Supreme Court death penalty case, it is typically constitutional under the existing proceed, on the existing precedent to execute people with these mental illnesses. So, which is wild to me, right? Like, first of all, we shouldn't have the death penalty. And I think after the case that we saw this week of the individual in Arizona who took an hour to die, right? If that's not against the Eighth Amendment of cruel and unusual punishment, I don't know what is. An hour. It took an hour for them to deliver the lethal dose needed to kill this guy. And this has everything to do with the fact that the, 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 the company that produces the death penalty drug, the, the death penalty drug, lethal injection, in the United Kingdom has stopped making it because they think it's unethical. But not here in America. No, we believe the death penalty is equitable and it's fair, you know? It's just our way of being the world's largest democracy. But I digress. I digress, I digress, I digress, I digress. We're talking about the fact that these folks have mental illnesses. And to be honest with you guys, I mean, let's really have a conversation about this for just a second. Is it fair that we kill individuals who have mental illnesses, even though they've committed crimes. There's no question that they've committed crimes. But clearly, this crime might have been might have been a result of the fact of their might, be, might have been a result of their illness, right? I'm not saying it's right for them. I'm not saying that you should let them out and roam free in the streets of New York City. But I'm saying, why are we killing them? Why are we rehabilitating them? Which is the job of the the, the job of the penal system. It's called you know, corrections and rehabilitation for a reason. It's supposed to correct behavior and rehabilitate people, not kill them. But, Richard, maybe, you know, you're too noble. Maybe I'm too noble. Maybe, just possibly maybe, I am too noble. I don't know. We'll have to see. But either way, the study should be alarming to most people out there.